just arrived at our campsite in the Outer Banks and we've been using our crock pot on our three plus hour drive to get here. We're doing chuck roast with some red sauce and carrots and mushrooms. We don't think it's quite done, so we're gonna finish it on the charcoal grill in a cast iron. We're gonna cover it up so that it gets a nice, good caramelized cook on it. Definitely not done. So we're setting up camp here, and now that we have some new recovery boards from Vic Off-Road, we can utilize some of our other recovery boards for setting our generator up. And some of you may be wondering, why we put our generator up on something? And the thing is, we're expecting some bad weather here, and any time that you're setting up on sand, uh, I read through the manual, it's not good for the generator. You don't want sand to get in there. So it's good to have it up a little bit so that it, in the event there is some rain, it'll be somewhat protected or just blowing sand too. You don't want it to get into the generator. I'm gonna set up the gen tent weather cover because we're expecting some rain on Monday so we can keep our generator running safely in the rain. take your fork and just oh yeah it's done Looks like you gotta buy it on line and then fill this out. I just got back from a run, I'm a little sweaty. Uh, the people, the people down from us at a different campsite, their campsite's on fire. They were not very smart about uh, cooking over charcoal. So I ran back on my run as fast as I could. Can't even catch my breath. But Jacob and I are frantically just packing a bag because we also have our own charcoal going. So we don't want to just leave it burning. And we don't want to hook up the camper either. So we're just packing our essentials, work gear, medication, possibly even an extra change of clothes. This is really scary, you guys. And we carry a fire extinguisher with us, one in our camper, one in our truck. And ours is actually outside next to our 
charcoal grill that's burning right now. So we have protective measures. Doesn't seem like everyone is caught up to speed on that, but it's super important. You can put yourselves in danger. You can put everyone else in danger as well. So with the change of wind, we are easily at risk. Fortunately, the wind is going opposite direction of us and it's heading towards the beach where the fire currently is. But if it comes inland, we're doomed. Fight or flight? Yeah. You said it's that bad. It the is that changes, bad. We gotta be ready. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm shaking. I'm doing my best. Fight or flight mode. Fire department, I think, just arrived. We heard sirens. Um, again, we have our own charcoal grill going behind us. Fire extinguisher right next to it. It's just good practices because you don't want to put other people at risk. Oh, yeah. And, oh, and Jacob. Jacob has a bucket of water, that orange Home Depot bucket that's full of water ready to rock and roll. It's just good. And we have the sprayer here and the sprayer so um we're just we loaded up the truck with all of our essentials and we're just waiting to see if wind changes directions or fire can't fire department can't put this out and they tell us to clear out um our truck's not hooked up to the camper so it looks like we might be leaving it second fire truck just came through no sirens though might as well take care of our food just in case right we got extra chicken thighs and pineapple on the charcoal with steamed broccoli I just don't want to block the road for them if they need to get through because our truck will hang out in the road. Okay, Dave, I would rather keep our camper with us. We decided to quickly hook up the camper just in case. Still loading up. Jacob's doing all the heavy lifting and he basically has the camper ready to just put on the ball hitch get out of here so wow I don't know why but everyone we've talked to doesn't seem too worried about this fire and it makes me really nervous hearing that there's a fire and just with the change of wind it could potentially change the outcome drastically for us we just got the noise that we got to go we got to hook up now uh let me move the truck where's your keys I think I think that's what that means Jacob where are your keys out of my pocket here okay, here's uh -huh. Come on, yeah, start it. You take care of that. You gotta put the fire out. What do you want me to do? I think that means we gotta go. Fire truck's honking as it's driving by. <laughs> oh, fuck this shit. Oh my God, you guys, it's so important to carry fire extinguishers and have buckets of water while you're going, okay? There's just no excuse for that. Should we put the chicken back on the grill? Yeah. All right, so we've come to a conclusion. Fire department left. They didn't tell the campground to evacuate, so we called 911 just to see the status. And the lady said that the fire has been put out and we do not need to evacuate. So all is good in the neighborhood. It's just really scary that having a fire like this, cooking over charcoal, you can put other families at risk and that's not that's not what we want to do we try and practice safety first so just always remember carry a couple fire extinguishers we have one in the truck one in the camper jacob always fills a bucket of water whenever he's got charcoal going it's just we got our sprayer too really smart and a shovel all right and a shovel it's just really smart to do especially when you can put other campers at risk um well that was a fun little event fire drill. fire drill that was a good fire drill but now we're we ready pretty good time <laughs> yeah we were gonna sacrifice our generator That's... we were gonna sacrifice the whole camper at first no one of I us would have been the wise decision one of us was wanting to sacrifice the whole camper i wasn't that's all my personal belongings in one little 100 square foot home <sighs> could hold us up from getting out too true oh my god wow well we're hooked up and ready for tomorrow yeah, We're do not we, even leaving. We don't even leave tomorrow. Do you want to detach? 
I'm sorry, but I just wanted to be prepared. Trust no one, right? Let's yeah. put the chicken back on. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. Yeah, need some water after that. We should probably shut the truck off first. Well, back to our regular evening plans, I guess. Except for all our stuff's packed up. All of our stuff is packed up. Wherever I could put it, I generator. put it. What'd you say? <laughs> except for the uh, except for the generator. Whew! I should probably go help Jacob or at least film him. If it wasn't for him, we would not have been able to even possibly bring our camper with us. He's just so good at efficiently getting everything hooked up. It's amazing. He doesn't ever get enough credit, but he's really good at it. <laughs> oh. trying to figure out how to get this tap off the fire extinguisher and I just read it says in emergency pull pin to remove. I was trying to figure out how to get the tab off. I pulled the pin and it started running towards it. That was <laughs> I know. the first thing when she said there was a fire. <laughs> She's like, no, it's too big for that. It was. <laughs> you had to bring in multiple fire trucks. <laughs> and there's no way you would have made it in time with that little dinky thing. It was so far over there. Yeah. I like sprinted back. And as I was running back all the campsites so that ran by, I was like, fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to alert people because they had no idea. Yeah, you were the first on the scene. Yeah, and there are three people standing around the fire watching it. And I was going to like run right by it, but the street was like covered in smoke and hotness because it was such a big fire that I had to like turn around immediately. And as I was running back, I was like, you call 911. And she was like, okay, I'm calling 911. So I didn't have my phone on me. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Yeah. Well, I learned it from Rustin being his deputy uh, response person at DST. Fire response, right? Yeah. Uh huh. You have to physically point your finger at someone and give them a task. Otherwise, if you just say, call 911, everyone's like, you call 911, you call 911. Do I need to call 911? Yeah. You have to like, Assign it. Fully assigned, yeah. Thanks, Rustin. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's coming to good use. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I got a big shot of adrenaline there. I just started grabbing everything in sight. Me too. You should have valuable. seen my speed. I wonder how fast I was running. I am so out of shape. <laughs> There's your best find in a while. I think I'm running my cheeks off, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins out there. Thought you spotted them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to follow along for more adventures.